2022, CM Punk and John Moxley mm -hmm. defeat Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwood on AW Dynamite. Fun match, fun finish, fun everything. Mm -hmm. The crowd on their feet, just amazing situation. Talk about how that match came to be. Um, I don't know. I came to the building that day, and we were told it was going to be either uh cm punk and brian danielson against myself and cash or cm punk and john moxley against me and cash um and then we found out it was mox never did the four of us have a a set plan a set idea of exactly how that match was going to go um again they trusted us and allowed the heels to call the match um you know obviously with input from them too but uh, we never had a set plan. Well, there was never a time where we said, okay, after this, we'll do this. After this, we're going to do this and then this, and then we'll go into the finish here. Never once did we do that. Um, we were walking to the ring, still throwing out ideas. Um, and it just came together beautifully Four guys who wanted to work hard Four guys who wanted to be the best wrestler in that ring that, that night, you know, and that's when, um, that's when, I think magic happens is when four unselfish guys are in a ring and they're trying to be the best. And they're also trying to outsell each other. Uh, and I think that that match was just that, that was the beginning of our uh, upward momentum um, for 2022. Right. But I love that match. It's also the match that I tore my labrum from my hip to my groin. Right. And uh, I took the doomsday device and landed on my knee. If you watch it back when I, when I landed on my knee, it jarred my hip back and I grabbed my balls because I honest to God thought my right ball had exploded. That's oh how God. bad it was. Uh, and so that was one of the, uh, you know, one of the injuries that have lingered on a little bit. Well, the one thing we don't want, folks, is an exploding ball. That's no, the, we don't. That is that is the last thing we want. It. I know you talked about it just a little bit just now, but as far as everything just kind of working, how did you feel about that? Yeah, the atmosphere afterwards was incredible. Um, the atmosphere during the match was incredible. But, you know, uh, I never, you know, for example, I worked with Jericho uh, in a singles match with Mike Tyson, and I went to that match thinking, I don't care if he's Chris Jericho. I don't care if he's been working 30 years. I don't care if he's a multi-time world champion. Tonight, he's in my ring, and I'm going to show him why he's in my ring. I came up with the same attitude with, the, with those guys. John Moxley, CM Punk, two of the biggest stars in wrestling history, didn't bother me at all. Um, but afterwards, it was very cool to me uh, because they're in the positions that I want to be in as far as wrestling goes. You know, They're in the light that I want to be seen in. But it was very cool to me afterwards how – proud both of them were of that match moxley who's not a very big talker doesn't put very many guys over uh you know he was very vocal about how much he loved the match and he couldn't stop talking about it punk got all four of us together uh, and referee aubrey and we all took a picture together because he loved the match so much and uh i was sitting on the doctor's table with that picture uh, uh in that picture um which i will send to you maybe you can put out on our twitter feed Let, let's make sure to put that out uh for the show yeah let, let's get that picture that's great yeah and i'm sitting on the doctor's table uh making sure my ball isn't busted and uh those guys came in and they were just so so proud man and and that in turn made me proud and, and what a great compliment that is to you you know having guys like that be so happy they had a good yeah, match with you for sure Jenny, you said john moxley doesn't uh, talk a lot of course you shared some time with him in wwe tell us a little bit about what john moxley's like of course this last year for him has been a roller coaster mm -hmm. what does john moxley like to work with uh well that was the only time i've ever worked with him and it was very easy i loved it i uh, politicked so much to tony to allow he and i to work towards the end of the year because i wanted to have a who is the better wrestler in 2022? Uh, and I worked very hard. Just some circumstances uh, got in the way. Uh, that that never happened. But I, I, you know, the one experience I had with him in the ring, I absolutely loved it. And I hope 2023 brings uh, brings forth a match for he and I. 